lead, guide, and direct us in the path that we should go. Get everyone that wills to stand on their feet if we go before the Lord in prayer tonight. I want to be sure to remember all the names on the prayer request board tonight in a special way. And also remember uh, Shield Rambo uh, just found out today that he has uh, cancer and is going to have to undergo extensive chemotherapy. Also, Alan Claxton is, is sick. I understand uh, CJ goes to the hospital or back to the doctor. So we have much, as well as all these other names up here, that God would move in a, in a special way. Uh, do we have any special spoken requests tonight? Don't you? Uh, Brother Ron, that boy uh, works like his mother that they found a tumor. Right. They found another one on her kidney. And if we will, uh, I'd like to put her on the. Yes, that's her. Margie Simmons. Margie Simmons. Yes, sir. Is there any other spoken request tonight? Kevin has spoken the request, just raise your hand. <laughs> Brother Randy Satter, leads to the Lord in prayer tonight. <laughs>
everyone wanted to wander around in the streets, they were fair game. Yes. But if you stayed in the house yes. under yes. which the blood was applied, yes. then the death angel would pass right over them yes. with no harm. Folks, we've got to stay under the blood of Jesus Christ. Yes. We're going to have the safety. Praise God. Praise God. It's good to see everybody out in the house of the Lord tonight. We've got some sickness and all. Our crowd's a little small tonight. That's all right. God's here anyhow. Yes. Praise the Lord. It's good to see our visitors to come and be with us tonight. We appreciate Sister uh, Shirley Adcock, Sister Hardison from over here at the United College of Church. Good to have Brother Randy Savage with us. Good to praise the Lord to have uh, Sister Beverly or Beverly, Sister Beverly Robinson and her mother, uh, Betty Wright, with us tonight. So we're just so pleased. I hope I didn't leave anybody out, but we try to get around. We're just so glad to have every one of them to be with us tonight, and uh, so thankful they would come and be with us tonight in our revival. Uh, we're going to have uh, some more special singing here. We're just going to turn loose in the Lord and have a good time. A little bit later on here, we're going to turn this minister loose in the Lord. So I'm going to give it plenty of time tonight. So uh, I tell you what, we need to give time for the Word of God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Good to have Brother Danny with us tonight, too. Brother Keith and Brother Danny come up here and sing a song for us. Praise the Lord.
spirit, the best spiritual fruits that we could ever look upon. And they're there freely for our partaking. If we leave undernourished, it's our fault. It's not God's. But he's always got a bountiful supply to have. And not only here, but the Bible tells me he'd even prepare a table for me in the presence of my enemies. Right. Doesn't matter where we are, we can always get what we need right. from him. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We're going to uh, have a few moments of praise service right now and give everybody an opportunity to stand and give God praise for the wonderful things he's doing in your life. We're so thankful for the many blessings that he is bestowing upon his church. Praise the Lord. Sister Sandy, come on to the praise service tonight. Praise the Lord. I love the Lord tonight. I can never praise Him for what He means to me. I thank Him for being a land of living for a blessing life. God has truly been good to me and my family. I could never praise Him enough. I stood up here all night, Paul. I could never praise the Lord enough for what He's done for me. He's He's made a way when there was no way. Sure, and that's what kind of God we serve. He can make a way out of no way. And I thank God for that. I always go back and think about my grandmother's words, and they mean a lot to me when I think of. I always say thanks to the Lord for what he's done, for what he's doing right now, for what we know he's going to do. And he sure yeah. is going to be people. Yeah. In our churches today, you're seeing more people come into the house of God, Brother Ronnie. It's, it's wonderful to see the hand of God work, Brother Danny, and uh, how that God has blessed our church. I know, like Brother Ronnie said, looking around tonight, our crowd looks thin. It's normally not this slow, but the Bible says there are two or three gathered. My name's for sure, and he'll be back. Yeah. 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 I want to thank the Lord for Beverly and her mother being here tonight. Uh, Beverly and her mother are both very special to me. I, I love them both. They seem like they're kin to me. And, uh, it doesn't matter whether they're here or not, I'd say it. You, gotta, you have to get it for sunlight. I'm telling you, to beat them. They're some of the sweetest people I've ever met. And truly, they love the Lord and serve Him with all their heart. And uh, it's just a, I told them, uh, it's, I told people before, and I was telling Beverly, it's a good feeling to know. Beverly, that you got somebody at work and you talk to them about the Lord. When you got a burden, you can go tell them about it, Brother John, you know that they'll pray about it. And I know that if there was anything I needed, if I had a spiritual need, Brother Ronnie, and I need anybody to pray, I can call them Beverly. And she can do it. she'll do it. She, there's been many times I've asked her to pray. And we've called upon one another, and God has uh, uh, always made them uh, away, Brother Ronnie. And uh, the, one, the prayers that God hadn't answered yet, she's Beverly, that you hadn't seen. You hold on, God's going to yes. make the way. Right. He will. You just trust in Him and believe in Him. God's going to make the way. And her mother is uh, getting to see her tonight. She, uh, I hadn't seen her in a while. She, and she looks tired to me. She, I hadn't seen her in a while. That troubles me to see her hooked that way. But uh, she's like, oh, come on. And, uh, she's had a lot of hard way to go. But she's a precious woman. And I'll never forget um, when Brother Wilhoy, when her father passed away, and Beverly knows this is true. I stopped by the room to see him. Uh, and Brother Wilhoit came here for years and seemed like he was kin to us, Brother Ronnie. We love Brother Wilhoit so much. I don't think Brother Wilhoit knew who I even was. And uh, I wanted to stop in and see him because uh, I knew he was in the jaws of death. He was bad. And Beverly was in there with him. And we were in there talking. I was visiting with him. And he was just in the, seemed to be the most happiest way. He would have never known he was so close to death. And um, I went out after I talked to him and talked to Beverly and went out and um, had him going out of that room and I didn't know him in no time had it, Beverly. And um, he died. And um, he had uh, told Beverly just before he died that he believed that the Lord had sent me in there to him that I was an angel telling him he was coming home. <coughs> Nobody's ever told me that I was an angel before and I'm not. But uh, if that if it was something I said to Shirley in any way, that uh, was a comfort to Brother Will Hoyt. I thank the Lord for that. And that, that broke my heart. Very much you said that. It broke my heart so bad. I thought, Lord Jesus, when they come and told me that uh, Mr. Will Hoyt had passed away, I said, oh, Lord, I just left her. I said, well, Lord Jesus, what am I going to do? I didn't know what to go over and say to her. And I was, I, I kept thinking, Lord, i got to go over. i got to go over. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? And, and the Lord just seemed to give me and Mary both the words to say to one another. And, uh, uh, that was a very special time for me that I hold dear to my heart because of the love that I share for her and her family. I do love them. I do appreciate them. I appreciate this church and our pastor. This revival has been wonderful. I've rejoiced every night. And it's just a joy. It feels good to take something home in your heart that's food for your soul. And if, if uh, a preacher gets a parent and ministers to us and it don't sink in our hearts and we don't take it home with us, then you can't blame that. Always blame it on the preacher, Brother Ronnie. That's a lot of times that's your own thoughts. You don't accept the word. That I always think when the 
pray, when the preacher gets ready to preach, I always thank the Lord, give him the words to say, but most of all, let it be read and engraved in our hearts and our souls. Yeah. Let it be established in our hearts. And I thank God for that because it's been a wonderful, wonderful revival. And it's good to see Shirley him here with us tonight. We love and appreciate him very much. He'll be next to with us for the Lord tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. I had teased Beverly Kidley today up on the floor. I said, Beverly, uh, you going to come to my revival meeting? She said, well, she said, uh, me and Daddy was talking about coming now. I said, well, now, I don't, uh, I ain't trying to blackmail you or nothing, but I've been to yours three times. <laughs> I believe you owe me now. And she said, I said, that's with the gun to you or anything. I, I don't want you to come. I, I told her, I said, now, if something happens, you can't understand but it took me to go to that center sitting back there. It meant a lot to me. And I thank the Lord for that. I thank the Lord for the love, Sister Shirley, that the Christian people have for one another. And you know, there's a lot of times, Sister Sue, when you're out in this world and if a person's not a Christian and you run up on you run up on someone and they meet you, brother, and they're a sinner, they can feel that love. She, they can feel that Christian love that you have. That's one thing that's always I've always been proud of in this church is the love that we have for one another. And you can feel that love. Sure, I don't have to tell you I love you. You can know that. And you can feel that, Brother Ronnie, in the people. And I thank God for that because without the love of God, you'll never win anybody to Christ. And I want everybody to be able to see the Lord in me. I do love Him. I, I fell Lord many times. I'm human. We everyone uh, fell the Lord. But thank God, He's a merciful God, Brother Keith. And he, he is a forgiving God, and that's the most important thing. As long as God can be so sure, that's all that matters. I love the Lord tonight. Y'all pray for me. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. You know, if we didn't have the Lord, we would be miserable. Right. Praise the Lord. When we have Him, as the message last night was talking about the storms. Brother Sandra was preaching about the storms that we must go through. Jesus is what makes the wind in the storm. That's right. That's right. You see, when the Lord was with the disciples, it didn't keep the storm from coming. But the fact that he was over the storm. He yes. controlled the storm. Hallelujah. No matter what comes, hallelujah, your way. With Jesus, you make it through. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'm, I'm excited about what Jesus is to surely stand and give a word special for us. So is sure is good to have you with us tonight. Yes. Yes. I love the work tonight. I appreciate each one of you. Yes. Thank you tonight for the spirit that I feel here in this service. Yes.
Jews on your south coast tonight?
I will do it. Thank you all. Brother Danny, you may have to stand and ask God's blessing on this office. Lord, come before you tonight. Lord, we thank you, Lord. 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 We thank you,
righteous, right. that word is lost. Right. That word is lost. If we don't have Jesus, we've missed it all. Right. We've missed it all. Praise the Lord. It's good to have Brother Sister Sandra back with us tonight. Praise the Lord. And at this time, we're going to turn the pulpit over to them or to Brother Sandra, or ever have they have an arranged brother. You just come right on. The pulpit is yours and the Lord. Praise God.
Well, it's wonderful to know Jesus. You probably worked hard today.